Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. Glory, 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 hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. This is virtual so many Christ ministry. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God. Today, today is Sunday, another, another Sunday of the year. We bless the name of the Lord. He's worthy, he's mighty, he says silent, he's wonderful. Our Sunday service, we are beginning right now. We thank God for God in Jesus' name. Shall we have a word of prayer? Oh, Heavenly Father, great Father, Father God, we give you all the glory, all the honor, and the praise. We thank you for another blessing for day. We thank you for this Sabbath day, Almighty God. We thank you for this Sunday, Almighty God. We give you all the glory, all the honor, and the praise, O Lord Father. For your gathering us, Almighty God, right now, from, the, from this, uh, the forecourt of this world, Almighty God. Heavenly Father, to sit at your feet, Almighty God, enjoy your presence, enjoy your Lord. We are so grateful. Father, as we come to praise you, Father, take all the glory, all the honor, and the praise, O Lord. And our presence, O Lord, and feel us, Almighty God, fill us with your Holy Spirit that will help us to worship you in the spirit and the truth in the name of Jesus. But I take all the glory. We hand over the ministry. We hand over the service unto your pastor. And let your will be done, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. We thank God, Almighty God, that he, that he the prayer of pleasure come to. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Oh, glory, glory, glory to my Father. Hallelujah. Oh, Zaina, oh, Zaina. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. O Zaina, O Zaina, blessed be the name of the Lord. O oh, glory, glory, glory to my Lord. O oh, glory, glory, glory to my Father. Hallelujah. O Zaina, O Zaina, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. O Zaina, O Zaina, blessed be the name of the Lord. O glory, glory, glory to the Lord. O glory, glory, glory to the Father. Hallelujah. O Zaina, O Zaina, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. O Zaina, O Zaina, blessed be the name of the Lord. O glory, glory, glory to my Lord. And glory, glory to my Father. Hallelujah. O Zaina, O Zaina, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. O Zaina, O Zaina, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. O Zaina, O Zaina, blessed be the name of the Lord. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Our God is the mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer, wonderful Redeemer. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name. Please, I would like to read from the word of God. Hallelujah, the book of Psalms. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Amen. So the book of Psalms, 100. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. In the book of Psalms 100, hallelujah, we bless God for God, we bless his holy name. I read in Jesus' name, amen. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye in the lands. Serve the Lord with a gladness. Come before his presence with the singer. Know ye that the Lord, he is a God. It is he that has made us, and not known we ourselves. We are his and their people. 
and the sheep of his and of his and the pastor enter into his and gates with a thanks giving and into his court with a praise being a thankful unto him and bless his name for the lord is good his mercy is everlasting and his truth endure to all generations amen he's a he, hallelujah to the lamb of god he's the goodness our god is good good god almighty god everlasting savior everlasting redeemer our god is so good we thank god for god in jesus name right now we are going to hallelujah now we are going to start the service by the grace of the by the grace of god we by opening a uh, uh, prayer and by prayer opening prayer so i will call upon the servant of god for the opening prayer evangelist john may the lord bless you ma hallelujah hallelujah god bless you my sister happy sunday for all of us in the name of jesus for those that have joined for those that are still to come and for our online family we say happy sunday in the name of jesus christ we are going to stand our sunday service before we go to the opening prayer we just say a word of prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, I want to thank you for today. I bless your holy name because you are great. You are mighty and you are faithful. There is no God like you. Thank you for bringing us again today. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. Father, for taking us up to this last Sunday of the month. We glorify your holy name as we lift your name higher in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Who is greater than Jehovah God divine? There is no one greater than Jehovah God divine. Who is greater than Jehovah God divine? There is no one greater than Jehovah God divine. Oh yes, excellent Jehovah, marvelous Jehovah. There is no one greater than Jehovah God divine. Yes, excellent Jehovah, marvelous Jehovah. There is no one greater than Jehovah God. Who is greater than Jehovah God? There is no one greater than Jehovah God. Who is greater than Jehovah God? There is no one greater than Jehovah God. Oh yes, excellent Jehovah, marvelous Jehovah. There is no one greater than Jehovah God. Yes, excellent Jehovah, marvelous Jehovah. There is no one greater than Jehovah God divine. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, thank you. Thank you, the Lord of love. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Father, thank you. Thank you, the King of kings. Thank you, my high God. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, my King. Thank you, thank you, oh Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Oh, bend down. Uh, I say, bend down. Oh, bend down, bend down, bend down. I see what the Lord can do. Ooh, bend down. Oh, I say bend down, oh, bend down, bend down, bend down, and see what the Lord can do. Father, we thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jehovah, thank you, thank you, my Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jehovah, thank you, thank you, Jehovah, thank you, Jehovah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, oh, thank you, my Lord, thank you. Thank you, the King of Kings. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Rock of Ages, thank you. Thank you, the Lord of God. Jehovah Shama, thank you. Oh, my Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jehovah, thank you. Thank you, the King of Kings. Thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Rock of Ages, thank you. Thank you, the Lord of Lords. Father, we thank you. Thank you. Yes, Lord, we say thank you. Thank you for life. Thank you. 
Thank you, the King of Kings. Thank you, Lord. Oh, I said thank you. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you. Thank you, the King of Kings. Forever. Oh, Lord. Your word is settled. In heaven, it is settled. Forever. Oh, Lord. Your word is settled. In heaven, it is set in a life forever, forever, oh Lord, Jehovah me. Your word is set in heaven, it is set, it is set forever, forever, oh Lord, oh Lord, your word is set in heaven, it is set. Yeah, Baba, oh, nobody be like you. You'll be Baba forever, eh? oh, Lord, no one be like you. Hey, my father, Jehovah, oh, nobody be like you. You be daddy forever, eh? oh Lord, no one be like you. I say bye bye, eh, bye bye. Rock of ages, say eh? nobody be like you, King of glory. You be baba for we oh, eh? Alleluia, no one day like you. I say bye bye. Hey, bye bye. Oh, my Mecca, hey. nobody be like you. Are oh, you be Baba for we are? Oh, hey, hey, hey. oh, Lord, no one day like you. We say bye bye. Hey, bye bye. Jehovah Rafa, hey. no one day like you. Are you be Baba for we are. Hey, hey. Oh Lord, no one day like you. Father, when you open the door, nobody shut it. Oh, when you shut the door, Lord, no one can open it hey, for your Baba forever. Hey. Oh Lord, nobody be like you. We say bye bye. Hey, bye bye. Rock of ages, say nobody be like you. You be Baba for we are. Hey, hey. Oh Lord, no one day like you. We say bye bye. Hey, Mameka, hey. ready, my. Hey. Nobody be like you, King of glory. You be Baba for we are. Hey, hey, hey. Oh Lord. No one day like you. Oh, Father, you be Baba for we are. Hey, hey. Oh, Lord, no one day like you. Oh, Lord, yes, you be Baba forever. Hey. Oh, Lord, no one day like you. Lord, we say bye bye. Hey, bye bye. Ready, my. Hey. Nobody be like you, King of glory. You be Baba for we are. Hey, hey. Oh Lord, no one day like you. The bush that burned but never consume. What shall we render to you, O oh Lord? Only to abandon and worship your name, for you are God. You are, you are, you are, you are the Lord. You are a God. You are the eyes we used to see. You are the key that opens the doors. You are the owner of our soul. The bush that burned but never consumed. What shall we render to you, O oh Lord? Call it to abandon and worship your name. For you are you are the lion of Judah. You are the Lord. You are a God. You are the eyes 
I used to see. You are the key that opened our doors. You are the owner of our soul. The food that burn that burn never consume. What shall we render to you, O oh Lord? Oh, we will burn down and worship your name, for you are God. Lord, we will burn down. Yes, we will burn down and worship your name, for you are God. Oh, Father, we will burn down. Oh, we will burn down and worship your name, for you are God. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us lift up our voice. Let us lift up our voice. Let us bow before the Lord. Let us bow before the King of Kings. Let us bow before the Rock of Rock, the Alpha and Omega, the Sharon of Roses, the Shekinah Glory, the only wise God, the only living Father, the one that said, and nobody can continue, the one that no one can remove from his hand. Let us begin to worship. Him. He, is he, is he is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy to be praised. He is worthy to be adored. He is worthy to be loved. He is the mighty God. He is the faithful God. He is the great lion. He is the rock of ages. He is shaking our glory. Yes, Lord. He is the Alpha and Omega. Yes, Father, you are. Father, you are. Father, we worship you. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt your name. Father, we lift your name higher. Father, we glorify your holy name because you are God, because you are great, because you are faithful. Have your way, O oh mighty Redeemer. Have your way, O oh faithful God. Have your way, O oh Jehovah Jireh. Have your way, O oh Jehovah Rapha. Have your way, my Father and my God. Have your way, my Rock and my King. Have your way, Father. Have your way, Lord God Almighty. We worship you. We worship you. We exalt your name. We exalt your name. We glorify your holy name. Because of whom you are, because of whom you are, we give you glory. Because of whom you are, we give you praise. Because of whom you are, we adore you. Because of whom you are, Father, we gather to say, Father, that you are God. We gather here to say you are God. We recognize you as our master. We recognize you as our God. We lift your name higher, Father. Thank you, Lord, for being our God. Thank you, Father, for calling us. Thank you for choosing us. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for always being in our means. Thank you for being our provider. Thank you for being our healer. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, faithful Redeemer. We give you praise. We lift your name higher. Blessed be the holy name in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to go before the throne of grace and mercy. We are going to ask God mercy because his word says, his word says, that if we say we have not seen, we are making fool of ourselves and we are calling him a liar. And he said, even if we hide our sin, we pray he will not hear us. That's what the Bible says. Let us go before the throne of grace and mercy and ask him for mercy for whatever sin that we may have committed consciously or unconsciously anything we may have committed let us go before him and cleanse ourselves in the mighty name of jesus christ let us pray oh, my, my father my god, god in the mighty name of jesus christ jehovah king of glory rock of ages my lord and my king father lord god almighty father lord have mercy on us father we come to ask for mercy we are here to ask for mercy oh lord we are here for to ask for mercy oh father we are here to ask for mercy father lord teach us we are way, O Lord. Forgive us, O Lord God Almighty. Forgive us, O Father. Forgive us, O mighty Redeemer. Forgive us, O King of Glory. Forgive us, O Rock of Ages. Lord God Almighty, forgive us. Father, forgive us. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, mighty Redeemer. Forgive us, faithful God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, forgive us. Anything we may have committed, consciously or unconsciously, 
knowingly or unknowingly. Father God Almighty, have mercy. Father God Almighty, have mercy. And forgive us, O Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Have mercy, O Lord God Almighty. Have mercy, O mighty Redeemer. Have mercy, O King of glory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That we need for you, we need your mercy. We we need your mercy, O oh Father. We need your mercy, O oh Father, Lord God Almighty. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, you are so mighty and faithful. Thank you, Rock of Ages. Thank you, mighty man in battle. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. The Bible tells us in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36, verse 25. He said, Then will I sprinkle clean water upon you, and ye shall be clean from all your filthiness and from all your idol, we like cleanse you. Hmm. Now, he came in the book of Psalms, Psalms chapter uh, uh, 51, verse 7. He said, Push me with him some, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. We are going to call God the Father. Wash us, cleanse us, and we shall be clean. Cleanse us, Lord. Pour your clean water in us. Cleanse us totally. In the name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah King of glory, cleanse us. Rock of ages, cleanse us. Touch us, O Lord God Almighty, from all idol, from any idol, any filthiness of the flesh, any filthiness of the spirit. Father, cleanse and purify us. Touch us, O mighty Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Push us, O Lord God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus. Cleanse us, my Father. Cleanse us, O Rock of Ages, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hebrew, Hebrew chapter 9, verse 13 and 14 said, For if the blood of the bull and the gold and the ashes of an infant sprinkle the unclean, sanctified to the purifying of the flesh, 14. How much more shall the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit, offer himself with that spot to God, push your conscience from dead works to self? We are going to call upon the blood of Jesus. We are going to call the, upon the blood of Jesus to cleanse ourselves from any dot, any wrinkle, any form of sin, anything that remains, any thing that stands our garment of salvation, anything that is bringing us down. Let the blood cleanse us, sanctify our environment, purify our environment. Let us pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we call upon the blood of Jesus Christ. We call upon the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the sanctifying power in the blood of Jesus sanctify us, O Lord. Let the sanctifying power in the blood of Jesus, Father, sanctify us. Let the redeeming power in the blood of Jesus redeem us, O Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. O Lord God Almighty, purify us through your blood. Father, we pray Sprinkle the blood of Jesus in our environment. In the name of Jesus Christ, we sprinkle the blood of Jesus all over our environment, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, we sprinkle the blood of Jesus all over this place. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, thank you, my Father and my God. I give you praise and adoration. Blessed be thy name, Lord. Blessed be thy name. Thank you, Rock of Ages. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, my Rock and my King. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We are now going to call open the Holy Spirit. We are going to call open the Holy Spirit. Let us go back in the book of Ezekiel, chapter 36. The very Ezekiel, chapter 36. Hallelujah. This Amen. time we are reading the verse... 27. He said, and I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my stature and ye shall keep my judgment unto them. It is only the spirit of God that can help us to keep the judgment of God, to keep the commandment of God, to apply it in our own life and in other people's life. It's the Holy Spirit that can make you and I to stay out of sin. We are going to welcome that Holy Spirit. He's here right now. Let us welcome him and hand over the service to him and tell him to do those things that only him can do in this ministry. As it is said in the book of John, chapter 14, verse 26, the Lord, our Lord Jesus said, he's not leaving us alone, but he's leaving us with the Holy Spirit. 
spirit. And he said he is the one that will remind us the thing he wants us to do. He will hear from it and he will whisper it to us. Now let us welcome him here for him to come and take over. He's our leader and our senior partner, the same he is our comforter. Let us welcome him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God we Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jehovah King of Glory, we welcome you. We welcome you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. You are welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. You are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. 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 We are asking God that he, do, he, he will not cast us in the presence. He said, cast me not away from that presence and take not the Holy Spirit from me. We are going to ask God that, Father, do not take this Holy Spirit from us. Father, do not chase us from the presence, from your presence. Let us pray in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father and my God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Jehovah King of Glory, we pray thee, O Lord. Do not chase us from your presence, Father. Now that we move your Holy Spirit in us. Father, fill us with your Spirit. Fill us with your Spirit, O Lord, so that your Spirit will teach us to walk in your commandment and do them. In the mighty name of Jesus, fill us with your commandment. With your, with your spirit, O Lord God Almighty. Fill us with your spirit, O Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fill us, O Lord God Almighty. Fill us, O mighty Redeemer. Fill us, O King of Glory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are so mighty. You are so glorious. You are the faithful God. You are the mighty God. You are the great God. Blessed be that name, O God. Blessed be that name, O mighty Father. Blessed be that name, O King of Glory, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be that name, my Father and my God. Blessed be the name King of glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We give you all the adoration. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Isaiah chapter, chapter 41, verse 10 said, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. We are going to ask God that, Father, as we are about to start this service, Father, uphold us. Hold us with your hand of righteousness. Hold us and put us, Lord, in your own way. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let us pray. Father, God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah, King of glory, as we are starting, Jehovah, we pray the Almighty Father, that may you hold us, O oh Lord. May you hold us with your hand of righteousness. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, hold us, O oh Lord God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hold us, O oh Father. Hold us, my Father and my God. Hold us, Lord God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise, O oh Lord. We give you praise, O oh Father. We give you praise, O oh Father, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Lord God Almighty. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are now going to cover ourselves with all the armor of God. As it is written in the book of the book of Ephesians, we cover ourselves from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Because it is said that we don't raise it against flesh and blood, but against principality and power. Let us then now cover ourselves with all the armor of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Father God Almighty, in the name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, Jehovah King of Glory. Father, we call open, O oh Lord God Almighty, the armor of God. We cover ourselves with the armor of God. We wear the armor of God, Lord, from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, King of glory and rock of ages. Father, Lord God Almighty, we cover our children, our grandchildren, in the name of Jesus Christ. We cover their fathers with the precious blood of Jesus and we wear all the armor of God around them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we seal ourselves with, into the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Isaiah 41, verse 16 said, Thou shalt find them 
and the wind shall carry them away, and the white wind shall scatter them, and thou shalt rejoice in the Lord, and shall glory in the Holy One of Israel. We are going to pray that, Father, scatter anywhere the enemy are gathered against the children of God. Find them away. Anywhere they have gathered, scatter them, O Lord, because you always say when they gather, they gather to scatter. Scatter them, O Father, find them away in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, my heavenly Father, oh Lord, we my have Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Wherever, O Lord, God Almighty, wherever, O Lord, God Almighty, the, oh Lord, God Almighty, the, the enemy are gathered. Wherever they are gathered, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, God, find them away. Lord, God, find them away. King of God, find them away. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you find them away, O Lord. Father, Lord, God, find them away. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, may you find them away, O Lord. Scatter them, Lord. Wherever they are, Jehovah, King of Lord, scatter them. Rock of age, scatter them. Mighty man in battle, scatter them. Scatter them, my rock and my king. Scatter them, O Lord God Almighty, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ, scatter them, O Father. Scatter them, my rock and my king. Scatter them, my rock and my king. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, may you scatter them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Scatter them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, my Father, my Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Scatter their plans. Scatter their plans. Scatter their garden. Their garden. Set confusion between them, Father. Wherever they are gathered against the children of God, against this ministry, against all the other ministry of God. Father, Lord, the plan they had against the minister of God. My Father, my Father, as I begin to pray, scatter them. Scatter their plan. Scatter their plan in the name of Jesus Christ. Scatter their plan in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, may you scatter them. Lord God, may you scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, scatter them. Lord God, scatter them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are the mighty God. You are the faithful God. You are the glorious God. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are the mighty God. You are the faithful God. You are the glorious God. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We ask you, Lord. Amen. We are going to present any activity that will take place in this meeting today. Let us present it to God and ask God to glorify Himself in it. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are talking about the praise and worship, the testimony and all the other ones in the name of Jesus Christ. Let us pray. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah, King of glory, we pray to O Lord God Almighty, we commit all the activities that will happen today to you, Lord. We pray, O Father, that may you take control over all. Take control over all, O Lord. Take control over all, O mighty Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Take control over everything, O Father. Glorify yourself, O Lord, over everything that will happen here, O Father, the praise, the worship, the Bible reading, the testimony, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the message, O oh Lord, glorify yourself, O oh Father. Let it be, O oh Lord God Almighty, that you strengthen it with your spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, my King. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We are still going to pray. We are going to commit the message and the messenger to God. We are going to ask God to strengthen as the servant and make that anything, anything that he has committed to her, let her deliver it all. She must not go back with, she must not return with anything that the Lord has delivered to give to us. Let us pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, my Lord, Lord and my Father, King, in the name of Jesus we Christ. Of Jesus. So my Father, my God, Father, we commit the message and the messenger to you. We commit the message and the messenger to you. Father, Lord God Almighty, flow to your daughter, flow to your servant, in the name of Jesus, flow to your servant. Oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, flow to your servant, O mighty Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, you are the mighty and the faithful God, you are the glorious God, flow to your servant, my rock and my king, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, there is no one like you, there is no God but you, flow to your servant, O Lord God Almighty, flow to your servant, O mighty Redeemer, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we cast away any spirit of destruction, Father, over her life, in the mighty name of Jesus, any plan of the enemy to frustrate her. Any plan of the enemy, oh Lord, to target her, oh Lord, any target the enemy has against her or her family member, after and the reason of the message she pressed today, Father, Lord God, we nullify those plans. We nullify those plans. We nullify those plans. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cancel and nullify those plans, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, mighty Redeemer. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed. Amen. 
Hallelujah. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Jehovah, King of glory, Father, Lord, we commit this time to you. Oh, Lord, we commit this message to you. We commit this Sunday to you. We commit your children to you, Father. We pray thee, O Rock of Ages, that may you glorify yourself, O Lord, in our life again today in the name of Jesus. Today is another day that you have made, O Lord, for us to be glad and rejoice in it. We just want to say we thank you, Lord. We thank you for what will happen. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for what you are still to do in the name of Jesus Christ. We cover the service with the precious blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. May the Lord bless you, my more grace, ma. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank God for God. We thank God for the opening prayer. We bless God for God in Jesus. And thank God for answering our prayers in Jesus' name. So right now we are we are, we are here to praise our Father Almighty God, please. John us to worship our Father, to praise Him, praise and worship. Right now, we call upon our beloved sister, our beloved uh, uh, choir in the Cameroon for the praise and the worship. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to read for the book of Psalms 115. Praise you, the Lord. Praise God in his, in, in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his, of his power. Praise him for for his mighty act, praise him according to his excellence, grand goodness, praise three, praise him with the, with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the, with the pastel of hope, of hope. Praise him with the with the tem, tem tree and and damned. Praise him with with strength, instruments and of urgents. Praise him up the the long sembled parts. He opened the 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 high sound. Symbol. Let everything that had bring past the Lord praise praise you, the Lord. Hallelujah. We sing your praise. Amen. Go. Praise the Lord. Stand on that moment again for us. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 We give glory to the Lord. We reign. We give glory to the Lord. We reign. We give glory to the Lord. We give glory to the Lord. We give glory to the Lord. He reign. He reign. He reign. We give glory to the Lord. He reign. Lord, he reigns. I know chance to the Lord, he reigns. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. Oh, I know the chance to the Lord, he reigns. Adoration, adoration to the Lord, he reigns. Adoration to the Lord, he reigns. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. Adoration to the Lord, 
give glory to the Lord. We reign. We give glory to the Lord. We reign. We reign. We reign. We reign. Oh, we give glory to the Lord. We reign. Hallelujah. We give glory to the Lord. We reign. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We thank God. Oh, I never see outside for.
Jesus Christ. Amen. We thank God for the praise and worship. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for the grace of God upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we thank God. So right now we are seeing in the mode of worshiping our Father Almighty God. So we are going to enter the, the hymn, hymn right now to sing the hymn. I'm still going to call upon the uh, choir in Cameroon for the hymn. May the Lord bless you, my sisters. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. I hear today is I am so glad that our Father in heaven. Amen. It's in us to see. I am so glad that our Father in heaven wants to be. I, I am, am so glad, glad that our Father in heaven 
Tell us his love and that book he has given. Wonderful things in the Bible I see. This is the there is that Jesus loves I am. I am so glad that Jesus loves us. Jesus, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus, Jesus loves me. In me. Jesus loves me, I, I know I love him. Love bring him down to his might to redeem. God, the Holy Spirit, who died on the tree. Oh, I am certain that Jesus loves me, I am. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am. I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus, Jesus loves me in me. If you should ask of my, if you should ask of me, how I can tell. Glory to Jesus, I know very well. God, Holy God, Holy Spirit, Spirit we, God, Holy Spirit, would my God. Don't agree, constantly witnessing Jesus loves me. I am, I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am, I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus, Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. I am, I am so glad that Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me in me. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. May the Lord bless you. And we are so glad our lovely Jesus loves us. We bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, my God. We thank God for this thing. We bless his holy name for almighty God loving us. We are his children. We bless the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. So right now, we are going to our Bible reading. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God that we call upon our beloved sister. Sister Destiny, may the Lord bless you, my sister. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalm chapter 118, verse 1 to 4. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endureth forever. Let them now that fear the Lord say, that his mercy endure forever. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord bless you. The mercy of the Lord endure forever. We thank God for the goodness of God in our lives. May the Lord bless you, my sister, in Jesus, in the book of Psalms 118 from 1 to from one to four, we bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We thank God for the word of God, for the Bible reading. We bless his holy name in Jesus' name. Amen. So right now, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. I'm going to ask for, for testimony. Hallelujah. Testimony time, blessing time. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for his God. Testimony time, blessing time. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Now we testify. Hallelujah for his goodness. Uh, my testimony, I thank God for God. I thank God for the bread of life. I thank God 
my testimony and my life, my husband, my children, we are alive. Every one of us in this ministry, we are alive. Our family member, no, no bad news. We bless the name of the Lord. I thank God for this ministry. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. My testimony that we didn't hear any bad news. My testimony from the first of this month is now March. There's some people that went that came in that came in this month, but they didn't finish it. It's not because I am. It's not because me and my family we were better than them. No, it's just the grace of God that they kept me and my family alive. I testify the goodness of God for His divine protection, for His divine provision in the name of Jesus Christ. This is my testimony. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So we are going right now to welcome our, our, uh, our follower online. May the Lord bless you all for joining us, for tuning in this program. For tuning in this, our service, Sunday service today, Virtuous Many Christ Ministry. May the Lord bless you for joining in, for, bless, for joining us. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So I, I welcome all, all of us in the forum. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. So I welcome Evangelist Mary. May the Lord bless you, ma. Evangelist Jan. May the Lord bless you, ma. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus. All our, all our choir youth, our youth choir in the camera room. May the Lord bless all of you. You in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. So I welcome the brothers. May the Lord bless you, our brother, our our new pastor, future pastor, evangelist. Oh, Father, we thank God for His life in Jesus' name. So we welcome our sister and the destiny. May the Lord bless you, my sister, in Jesus' name. So welcome our. our our sister gospel, may the Lord bless you, sister gospel, sister testimony, brother Samuel, may the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So I welcome myself, may the Lord bless me as well in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. We thank God for God in Jesus' name. So right now we are going to, this is the time you and I we are waiting for to eat the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord says uh, you and I as a child of God, we cannot live by bread alone, but by the, every word that proceeds of the amount of Almighty God. So right now, it's time for us to eat the word of the Lord, to feed our spirit man. We are grateful, Almighty God is going to feed us today. So right now, we are going to pray for the servant of God, whom God will use to, to deliver his message to God this hour, this moment. Let us pray for her, for more anointing, for God to anoint and give her the switch of bonus to deliver the word of God, deliver the word of God has God give to, to, to her for she to deliver the word of God in the name of Jesus Christ with the spirit of boldness to speak it to boldly for God to open uh, her ear to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit and what the Holy Spirit is saying so that uh, she will repeat exactly what the Holy Spirit is telling her in the name of Jesus Christ. Please let us pray for the servant of God in Jesus' name. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of glory, we thank you for your daughter. We thank you for choosing her to be the one that you will use to feed us today, feed, you, feed us with your word today. Mighty God, we are really grateful we are thankful, Lord, and I empower how mighty God, Father, to deliver your word, oh my God. And I use the mouth to be the mouth of peace that we use to speak to us, oh my God. And I empower her, Father, send your angels, oh Lord, to encamp around her. And I mighty God, I shall help her, Father God, let her help her to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit and give her the grace to deliver exactly what we hear. Holy Spirit, they say in the name of Jesus, my Father. Say perfect control for her, my close to her, Lord, Father, throw to her, not her precious Lord, in the name of Jesus, my Father. We thank you for her life. Let your name be your journey. Take perfect control of everything. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord here right now. So I will call upon the servant of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you, my evangelist, Mary. May the Lord bless you, my. Hallelujah. God bless you in the name of Jesus. I don't know if you can hear me clearly. I'm having some challenges on my laptop, so I'll talk to my phone. Hallelujah. Can all of you hear me? Hallelujah. Praise God. God bless you all and happy Sunday, another Sunday. This is the last Sunday of the month of March by the grace of God. God is good. 
is doing great things in our midst. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, King of Glory. Father, we thank you for that a wonderful moment, O Lord, Father, in your presence. Father, we thank you, O Lord Jesus, Father, for calling us this wonderful Sunday, O Lord, Father, to be in your presence. Father, we thank you for your goodness and mercy, O Lord, Father, for protection, O Lord, Father, for guidance, O Lord Jesus, Father, for the Holy Spirit, O Lord, Father, that is teaching us. Father, we thank you for the blood of Jesus that is cleansing us, O Lord, Father, minutes by minutes. We thank you, O Lord Jesus, Father, for giving us the grace, O Lord, Father, to stand for your truth in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we, we, are, not, we are no better than those that do pass, but it's by your mercy because you still have things that you want to correct in our life, Father, we thank you. We thank you, O Lord, Father, for the privilege, O Lord, Father, and the opportunity, O Lord, Father, to know the truth and the truth to make us free in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. We pray that, O Lord, Father, by your infinite mercy, you're still going to increase our faith, O Lord, Father, and give us the more, more grace that we need, O Lord Jesus, Father, to make it right, O Lord, Father, to end up well in this end time, O Lord, Father, to have the strength enough, O Lord, Father, to to overcome, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, every hardness that is coming on our way, every challenge that is coming our way, Father, we believe that, O oh Lord, Father, through you, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, you will strengthen us, O oh Lord, Father, to overcome, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, to make it, O oh Lord, Father, to the end, just like other that was before us, O oh Lord, Father, was able to make it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we look unto you, O Lord, Father, you are the author and the finish of our faith, O oh Lord, Father, continue to strengthen us, O oh Lord, Father, day by day, meeting minute by minute in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, as your word is coming out today, O Lord, Father, we submit ourselves, O Lord, Father, into the obedience to your word, O Lord Jesus. Father, teach us, O Lord, Father, correct us, O Lord, Father, guide us, O Lord Jesus. Christ, o Lord, we are ready, O Lord, Father, as you say, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds out of your mouth, O Lord, Father, we are here. We make ourselves available to hear from you, O Lord, Father. Give us wisdom, knowledge, O Lord, Father, and give us the grace, O Lord, Father, to be the doer of it, not just the error only. In Jesus' mighty name, we cover ourselves the blood of Jesus, we come against every spirit of destruction. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. The title of our message is A Backsliding Church. A Backsliding Church. You know, um, our Lord Jesus gave, He came out. Our Lord Jesus is the, the head of the church. The head of the church. We are the body of the church. So, he gave us message, he's, he's looking on everything that is happening in the body of Christ. As he said, <laughs> my father, can you hear me now? Whoa. <laughs> we thank God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. Yes. As I was saying, if please, if you can't hear me, you just remind me like you did before. Hallelujah. As I was saying before, we are the body of Christ and our Lord Jesus is the head. So he's checking over us minute by minute to see the things because it's his will is to present us as a glorious church. As a glorious church, just a second, please. Hallelujah, sorry for distraction. There is a bit noise in my background, but the enemy is a liar. So as I was saying before, Jesus doesn't want us to perish. He's here to correct us every mistake in our life, just like he did in the message. He sent the message to the seven church. So he was giving the message according to each one's mistake, each church's mistake. So as you see how here in our life, every church has its angel that controls it, that gives a kind that takes note, you know? takes note just like we ourselves in our personal life there is an angel that always take note to see the things that we need to correct in our life just a second please Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord, our God is good, mighty Savior, mighty Redeemer. We thank God, he's worthy, he's worthy, he's worthy, wonderful Savior, wonderful Redeemer. We bless his holy name, we thank God for this message that coming forth right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless God. 
uh, we hear this message very well, beautifully, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The enemy will not stop us not to hear this beautiful message that coming from the true room of God, but leading church. Oh, my God. May the Lord wake his children up, wake his church up in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God on highest. Hallelujah. You are welcome, man. Amen. Hallelujah. As I was saying that, if there is angel that controls each one of us life, you know. He controls everything that we do. Everything that we say, you know, everything that we do, everything that we say. And those things is the things that God is going to judge us for. So as I read the word of God, this is the message that was given to one of the churches. If you read it from the beginning, you see that each church has its own message according to what was happening there. Hallelujah. So here Jesus was giving the message to the church of Sardis. I'm reading Revelation chapter 3. Let's start from, from one old way to six by the grace of God. Hallelujah. So I read in Jesus' name, Revelation chapter three. Let's start from one to six. And to see what the word of God is talking to this particular church among the seven that he have to give them, send the message. Hallelujah. It says, and into the angel of the church in service, write these things, said, he that had the seven spirits of God and the seven stars, I know thy works, that thou hast a, thou hast a name that thou livest and are dead. Verse two, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Verse three, remember therefore how thou hast received and the head and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come into thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Verse 4, thou hast a few names even in service which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. 5, he that overcome, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blow out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before the angel. Six, he that has, he that has an ear, let him hear what the spirit said unto the churches. Hallelujah. This is the spirit talking to the churches. The spirit talking to you and I, because we are the church of God. We are the church that Jesus is coming to rapture. Now, the message of this church, this chart, you see, this chart, there was many. They were rich and they were having, there was pro, it was a prosperous church in everything that they were doing. But the work of this chart, it did not, it was not approved by God. It was not perfect in the eyes of God. Although they were doing the work of God, they were, according to them, they were right. As like you see that many churches, Many churches, they believe that they are right with God, but their work is not approved by God. If you have to go out now, it's only few that they're in their houses. Many of them, they took, they take this day, special Sunday, very serious among the other six days. They took Sunday very serious. That means is for them allowed to do all the kind of thing they can do during the week. And when it comes to Sunday, they become holy. Maybe this was the stage of this church, you see. They think they were alive doing things that is pleasing God just because they were, in, they were increasing on number. They were increasing in number, but their work was not perfect. They were dead spiritually. They were dead spiritually. They were not alive in the eyes of God. They were backsliding. Because the Bible says here, be watchful and strengthen the things which remain and they're ready to die. That means they have few things that was still standing. Maybe their zeal that was still standing. The zeal of going into the presence of God. The zeal of doing the work of God. But their relationship was already dead with God. There were no relationship, there was no connecting. Whatever they were doing, they were just performing. 
they were just performing. It was not approved by God. Many people, they have the zeal to do the work of God. They have the zeal to please God, but in a very wrong way. In a very wrong way that their work is not approved. He said they have a name that they live just because they are, like I said, just because they are doing the work of God. Backsliding is a very serious thing, especially when it comes to believers. For you to believe that you're, backsl you're a backslider is difficult because you might think that a backslider is somebody that is a complete sinner. The one that doesn't even read his Bible, the one that doesn't even pray, the one that doesn't even fast. If that is the backslider. The backslider is like, is a disease, is a bacteria that you cannot see it in your eyes. It's a virus. It can spread very, very fast, but it's very invisible. You cannot see it with these eyes like this. You need something special apparel for you to check it. And the only thing that can reveal this virus of backsliding in our life is the Holy Spirit. Is the Holy Spirit that can reveal. You might backslid in one point. You see here, Jesus was saying that, he was saying to each one, he said, I know thy works, that thou as a name that livest and are dead. You understand? He said, I have few things. I write these things, said, said he, to this, the, the, said he that has the seven spirits, the seven spirit and the seven star. I know thy works. You understand? I know what you are doing. I know that you are not doing my will. I know the way you live your lifestyle. It's not what my Bible says. It's not what my words say. It's not what the will of my father say. You are doing your own thing. Many churches started well. Maybe you, you started well as well by accepting the message of salvation. Yes, you repented, you accepted, you embraced the message, but are you standing on it? Maybe you have gone back. In one thing that you're not supposed to be doing, you are still doing it. Because he said, remember in verse three, he said, be watchful, strengthen, verse two, first he said, be watchful, strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. I have no found that works perfect before God. Whatever you are doing, it has not been approved by God. This is the time. He said, remember what you are doing now. He has not been proved by God. You are not standing in what God asked you to do. You are not working your salvation the way you're supposed to walk in the will of God. God is telling you that if this is the time that you should be checking your life because it can appear any moment. Here in verse 3, he said, remember therefore how thou hast received. Remember how you received that message. Remember how you embrace the message of salvation. The message of holiness, the message of righteousness, are you still on it? Are you still on it? Because you was once in, in death in sin and you received the message that it make you to live again. Are you still alive? Many people, they think that they are living spiritually, but they are dead. Because when you talk about death, I, I'm still alive. When the, the Bible says that, when God said that they so that he says in the book of um in the book of Ezekiel, he said the soul that seen it shall die. When he said that, he did not say that you die immediately. He was talking about spiritual death. You believe him, but your spirit is dead. You believe him, but your relationship, you'll be going to church, but your relationship with God, relationship with God is completely dead. Your work, whatever you are doing, it has not been approved. They are not taking note of it because it's not to recognize whatever you are doing. But you know that you are working hard, you're doing something that you profit you nothing. He said, remember where you received and you heard and, and you hold fast. The day you receive the message of salvation, you want Jesus to come to the next day, to, to come next day because you were so ready. You were ready, but are you still with that readiness? Are you still embracing it like that? You are seeing now it's changing. You are getting into the state of challenges. Now you are inside wilderness. When you cross the Red Sea, you were so happy that, yeah, if you, in the next few steps, I'm in the promised land. 
Now, the promised land is still far. And what you are facing right now is wilderness. Do you still have that joy of crossing the Red Sea? Do you still, that, that, do you still have that faith and strength to enter into the promised land? Because you are afraid of your enemies. Because you are afraid, you are trying now to please them, to make, to, to, to start now negotiating with your enemy when you need to eliminate them. There is a thing that you need to eliminate in our life for us to please God, for our work to be perfect in the eyes of God. There is things that we need to kill. Because if you don't kill those things now, you end up killing our spiritual life. You end up killing our relationship with God. We're not supposed to have relationship with the things that God call abomination. We're not supposed to have a relationship with the things that we is idol. We're not supposed to be, be closer to our enemy, but separate with them, kill them, eliminate them. They need to leave space for God to reign in our life. And this is the place that God is reminding us. Remember, when you embrace, when you receive, and when you hate about the message of salvation, how were you? Are you still in that position? Are we still with that zeal? Are we still rejecting the things that, when they tell you that, hey, this one, you, you don't want to hear the second confirmation. You just say, mm -mm -mm, for my heaven, I'm ready. But now, are you still taking that decision to separate yourself? He said, and he said, and repent. When you know that you are no longer standing the way you stand when you receive this message, when you hear this message of holiness, when you have an encounter, if you know that you have compromised, you are backslidden, it's giving us the option to repent. I'll repeat again. Remember, therefore, how thou hast received and the head and the heart first and the repent. If, therefore, thou shalt not watch, I will come unto thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come unto thee. This is the more dangerous part. Because you don't know the hour God will call you. You don't know the hour that he want to ask you for the thing. You don't know the hour that you want to give an account because that angel that is recording, you don't see him, but he's there. And Sister Marie, she lied when she was talking about visiting. She lied in so, so, so hours, so, so, so time. As he's writing, the record is recording because that time you don't need to argue with anybody because you see yourself in the screen and the time will be there. You be there, you see yourself, you don't need to accuse anybody like Eve that was accusing the snake and Adam was accusing the, the putting blame on God. It's the wife that you give to me. That time you're not going to bring that accusation because you see yourself. So because everything has been recorded, the thing that the place that you, 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 you take decision not to go, you are still going. The thing that you have forbidden, you are still doing them. That time. If you don't repent, it will come to you quickly. And that angel is there to report everything. This church, the angel of this church, he was recording everything by the time he presented to our Lord Jesus. Our Lord Jesus said, no, I need to go and warn them the last one so that maybe they think that they are still alive when they're already dead. That's why he said that the message came according to every angel to go and warn them. The Holy Spirit now is coming to tell you that if you to die today, you're already dead spiritually. Your relationship with God is not, is not even stable. It's, not, it's dead already. You need to restore it back. You need to repent. Because otherwise, it will come in the hour that you was not expecting. The hour that you did not think of. And that is exactly the hour that you think that, ah, I still have time. Maybe I'll go into fasting next week. Who told you that you have that next week for you to fast? The time is now to repent and go back to that same way you started. In verse 4, it said, Thou hast a few names, even inside this, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me 
in white, for they are worthy. Are you worthy to walk in the white with him? The Bible is telling us that you should not follow multitude to commit sin. There's still some people that just stand with their faith with God. They don't want to compromise, even if they're in the midst. They walk, they live their life just like Daniel inside Babylon. Some believers, they are still living their life just like Daniel inside Babylon. They refuse to compromise. No matter even when you go to them, they are so strict with their salvation. They are faithful with their faith. Even when you want them, they don't like pollution. That is the people that you work. Few. If you have to underline the word few, then you know that it's not the building. Then you know that it's not the quantity of member because some people, they see mindset of, ah, that church, only few. Mm -mm, the presence of God is not there. Who told you? God is saying few in several occasions. He said only few believers, those that, are, those that keep themselves. He said few. He said, he did not say many, he did not say multitude. And this church was full of people. But only few members, those that keep themselves, those that uh, did not spot their garments. Are you still following the multitude? Are you still following? Because this church, they have branches all over. Because there are many, you know, they are right with God. No, only few. If it was uh, the, the multitude that it, it make, make us to, to make it to heaven, then Jesus will not have 12 disciples. He did not have 12 disciples. He had more than that. He bring them only one word, the key word that you bet before to enter into the kingdom of God, you have to eat my flesh and drink my blood. It was enough to select the right one. The few that believe and accepted to eat his flesh and to drink his blood is the 12. Even among the 12, one of them, he was condemned. The seven, the Bible said the 70 others, they left, they said they cannot eat the, the blood of, they cannot eat the, the, the flesh of Jesus and they drink his blood. It is an abomination. They left. They did not understand the word of God. They did not understand the salvation that you cannot enter without eating. And the, the flesh that was talking is the word of God. That's why the Bible says we shall not live by bread alone, but the word of God. That is the one that will make us to stand, you know? And they refused to obey the word of God and they left because there was not among the few that Jesus wanted to use to be his disciple. It's not about multitude. And he says in verse five, he that overcometh the same shall be clothed with in white raiment. And I will not blow out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. You understand? He said, he that overcome. If you have not yet overcome sin in your life, there is no way your name, there is no way your name will be in the book of life. If you have not yet overcome that bitterness in your heart, even if you are serving God, the Bible says your works has not yet been perfect in the eyes of God because that bitterness is still spoiling the whole thing that you are doing. That unforgiveness is still spoiling everything that you are doing. That hatred is still spoiling everything that you are doing. It's not about the work that we are doing. If it was about the work that we are doing, then we are qualified because everybody is serving God. Everybody is doing the work of God in their own ways, but they're doing the work of God. Many churches started with the message of holiness by rebuking sin. You understand, rebuking sin, but because of challenges, because of trial, because of the reducing of members in their church, they start gradually changing the message, no longer standing in the truth, compromising, pleasing members rather than pleasing God. The Bible is making us to understand that if you are in that stage, you are backslidden. You are no longer alive. Spiritually, you are dead. You know, the enemy comes in this, in this way to, to, to challenge many children of God, to deceive many children of God, believing that if you are many, the presence of God is there. No, you don't need to be many for the presence of God to be there. The Bible is making us to understand that 
we should focus in the world of quality rather than quantity. He said, where are two? That is the number God mentioned. Where are two or three in my name? I will be there in their midst. The Holy Spirit will be there in their midst. He did not say where there are two million or three million people, the Holy Spirit will be there. God mentioned the number two and three. The rest, it can be added by grace, by his will. But if you stand in the truth, even if you're only two of you, heaven it will open. Heaven will open. Elijah was alone when he, when he called upon God of heaven. When he called the fire to come down, he was alone. And the fire came down, consuming how many people? And the prophet of God, they were how many? They were 700. They were more than that. Is it 400 or 700? They were more, 400. Do you understand? They, were, they, pray, they cut themselves, but God did not answer them because the Bible said the prayer of a sinner, it is an abomination before God. Do you understand? But Elijah was alone, but connected with heaven. Are you connected with heaven where you can call the Father and he'll answer you? We are doing the work of God. Because we are doing the work of God, we are so focused on the work of God that we forgot about our own salvation. We forgot from where we have started. We start now allowing some things to come back in our life. Instead of removing them, we allowed it to come, you know, to come. Let us focus on the world that says few. Our mind will change. Because this is the part that the enemy will say, they know that, ah, only two of you. Nobody's listening to you. Nobody's listening to you. The first day God gave you assignment, did he tell you that uh, as I'm giving you this assignment, make sure that 200, 10,000 people have to be feel your message every day or else I will not be with you. Did you hear this God saying that? He said, obey him. Obey him. Just focus on the word of God that is telling you to do. The rest is not your business. The rest is not your business. You know the parable of sower. The parable of sower, this man did not care where the, the seed is falling. His one assignment God gave him is to, to sow, to be spreading seeds, to be spreading. And the Bible says some of them fall in the sun. Some of them, is, the one that fell in the good ground is the one that brings forth the fruit. And the one that fell in the, in the, in the stone or in the whatever place that he did not grow, it was not his business. And God did not blame him for that. So continue to do the work of God. Continue obeying the will of God. Continue to do what God has called you for. That is the most important. That is the one that you make your work to be perfect in the eyes of God. That is the one that you make our, our work to be approved by God. By obedience, remember where you started with him. Remember that obedience that you have in the word of God is what that God is reminding us. Remember how you receive the message, the joy, the obedience that we have. You want to preach to everybody. You want to talk about him, but today you are starting reducing. You are starting reducing. You are starting having the fear of man in you. You are starting now caring about the things that before it was not bothering you. Ah, people are not listening. Ah, people are not doing. Ah, people, you start now, start giving your ears to hear about people more to hear about what people are saying. You are more interested of what people are saying than where you was listening to God himself. He says only those that you overcome sin in their life, only those that you overcome the fear of man in their life, that you will be granted, it will be, it, 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 that he said that he will give them only those that you overcome sin, that you'll be able to walk in white, that we will clothed in white, 
Those that you overcome say they'll be clothed in white. Only those that you overcome the work of the flesh. The work of the flesh will, think you to, will make you to think as a man think. The work of flesh. It will make you to be caring of the thing that people say. The thing that people do. It will make you not to start competing with what other people are doing. And because of they are doing this, me too, let me do this. And you'll be surprised you do the same thing they are doing, is working for them. It will not work for you because it's not the will of God for you. It is not the will of God for you. Focus on the will of God. Focus on the will of God. You understand? See, Jeremiah encouraged me a lot. The Bible said when God called Jeremiah, you can see that Jeremiah was a very young, a, a young, it was a child. He was a child. He himself, he said that I am a child. I don't even know how to talk. And God said, say not that I'm a child because I'll put my words in your mouth. The only assignment of Jeremiah is to interpret, is to repeat the word of God that God was putting in his mouth. And because of that, he felt so many challenge about it. You understand? And Jeremiah died without even, I can't find that Bible verse. If I find it, I'll bring it. God knew that he would not listen to Jeremiah. He knew that he would not listen to Jeremiah at all. But you know what he told to Jeremiah? He told him that, I want them to hear the word that I'm putting in your mouth, the word that I'm talking through you. I want all of them to hear about it. I know that they will not obey it. They will not do it, but I want them to hear. Because the day I'll bring my judgment, none of them will be able to tell that, oh, I did not hear about it. That's why if you go to the book of uh, Matthew 24, Jesus said the same thing. He said, this gospel, you have to be preached to all generations. It will reach places. Even in the village where there's no TV, this gospel will reach them. Even where people don't know how to read, they must hear it. Those that are blind, they will hear it. Those that are deaf, they will hear it. Those that cannot walk, they will hear it. Every nation, everybody, because when God will judge the world on that day, nobody will have skills to say that, oh, I never heard about it. I never heard about it. You need to hear it. You need to receive it. And you need to hold it first, just like he taught this time. That remember when you received it, you heard about it, and you hold it first, and you repent. Because the time is getting closer. The time is getting closer. If you see, after Jesus sent the message to all these churches, it was now start talking, revealing to, it was now start revealing to, to John how he have to open the seven seals, how to tell the things that is going to happen. But he was preparing his church to get ready, to correct some mistakes in their life. He was wanting them to correct the mistakes in their life because the time is getting shorter when the judgment of God have to fall upon the world. Because he didn't want the, that judgment to come and to face his church. He was preparing the church so that he would come and rapture the church before the consequences of sin start manifesting in this world. Jesus doesn't want the church to be among the tribulation. Jesus doesn't want the church to, fail the anti, to, to face the antichrist. So the thing that will make you to face the antichrist, God is telling you that go back to it and correct it now. Because the time is coming, the church needs to leave. And Antichrist will reign, but he doesn't want the Antichrist to reign over the church of God. He doesn't want the Antichrist to reign over the church that he died for. That's why he's telling you that if you think you see your relationship with me still stable, it's not standing anymore. Because of one thing, each church, it was not correct, corrected by two things. It was only one thing. I have somehow against him. I have something against him. It was something. It was always something. Something, something. It was reminding us James 2.10. Here yeah. is the warning about James 2.10. That thing, you know, 
He saw something for one day. I was reading the, I was listening to the testimony of this man that you have an encounter with God, you know, have the privilege. And maybe you have listened to it. Abraham, the one that he gave the revelation, the, the, the give the warning of do not glory yet, you know. It was this minister of God, the minister of the deliverance. It was, it was doing deliverance and God was using him mightily through that deliverance calling, deliverance gift. Deliverance is just a gift that some people has, you know, every calling comes with his own gift. Some people have the gift of healing. They will pray, they will lay hands on somebody. No matter how the doctor say about that sickness, the sickness will just disappear. Some people have the, the gift of preaching the word of God. You have so many gifts that you can have. Some people have privilege, the grace of having more than one. You understand? Now this man, he has the gift of deliverance. When you do deliverance, the manifestation is happening. The miracle is taking place. People are being delivered. But he was struggling with the spirit of anger. You see carelessness? Because he was doing things, he has a name that he had to zeal the name of God. He thought he was alive. He thought his relationship with God was okay. He thought his name was written in the book of life. He thought he was blameless before God just because God was honoring his name through him. Exactly what happened to this church. Maybe God was just honoring his name by when they call the name of God, everything that they will do, it will just be perfect, it will just be working. And the number of members increasing according to them, ah, the presence of God is there. I thank God for their life. God even gave them warning for them to go back, to remind them that mm -mm -mm, your work is dead. Your work is not approved in heaven. That it made them to repent. You understand? And this man was not able to repent because of anger. Because of anger. Is God looking for two things in our life? No. Satan knows that if he gives you so many things, you're, you'll be watchful. He will now block you in one thing and will give you the right for you to defend that thing like another thing. When they tell you, you have this, hey, the way you defend it, eh? the way you defend it, because that is where it's getting you. He said, continue, because the day I'm going to require it, the way I'm going to present it, you'll know that, yes, you were not standing. He said, he that you overcome that thing that you're defending today. They say you have pride. Then you have pride. What you do is to repent. Ask God to open your eyes to see which area you are pride. There's a different way of being pride. The different way of being pride. There's different way of having bitterness. You understand? The word, bitter, the word bitterness is very dangerous. You can be having bitterness and you are talking with the person, knowing that you are bitter with that person. I have, a, I have experience of that. You know, just like I say, a backsliding is a very serious thing. The same as bitterness also. You may be bitter towards that person and you might not know that you are bitter just because you are talking to that person. No, I'm not bitter. I'm forgiving that person. Hey, when I see him, I greet him. I even talk to him normally. I'm not bitter. Who told you? Is what God told you. Is that what God revealed to you? <laughs> Let me tell you my experience, maybe will make you to change your mind and start taking your salvation seriously. I had issue with the father of my kids. He came to apologize to me and I forgive him. According to me, I forgive him. I said, okay, I forgive you. I forgive. So, uh, the person that I forgive, if somebody have to ask me about the father of my kids, hey, the word that will come out of my mouth, you will know whether I forgive him or not. I will tell you the time, the hour, the place, the day that he says something that touched my heart. Hey, you know, eh? 
Because eh, no, 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 no. the Bible says if you really forgive, then you have to forget. No matter how painful the situation is, you have to forget. Forget about it. Each time I talk about him, the pain of that situation is still there. What kind of forgiveness? I will feel the situation just like it happened now, 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 now. And my mood will change. My tone, the tone of my voice will change. But when I will see him, how are you? Oh, how's everything? He will ask me, how's the children? We will talk. Let another person ask me about him. My face will change. If you see what that man did to me, ah, I will change my way of talking. Is it, it's not, if it's not bitterness, what is it then? Do we have another name, better name to talk about it? When you say that you are forgiving, when you talk about that person, you talk with joy. We talk with peace. You can even pray for that person. You can even intercede for that person. You understand. And the people that are hearing you talking with that person, they know that you have released that person in your heart. But that was not my case. One day, by the special grace of God, when I started, when we started, I started my journey in this, um, as a minister of God, I told God to arrange me and Evangelist John. We arranged to go into a fasting. I said, God, as I'm about to start, to start this journey of serving you, I don't want anything to stand against me. I don't want anything that will make me after serving you and I'll miss it. Tell me the things that I need to correct in my life. The thing that is not pleasing you. Then I arrange with her. I say, listen, in the house, we might have destruction. Let us go to ourselves since we don't have the mountain. You know, let us leave our house, go to another place. Then she arranged, she left the town where she was living. She went to the hotel and I left London. I went to Belgium because I wanted to be in a place that where there's no children, there's no noise, just me and God. That's how we do our retreats, me and how we did three days retreat. And in, in this three day, we are, we agree to be doing our normal activity. That means we are joining all the programs, but when we finish Zoom, we are just go to ourselves and we have our normal prayer that we pray together and we have our personal quiet, quiet moment that is just between we and God. So I went to Belgium in my brother because my brother then he was living alone. I went to my brother. When he got to work, I told him that he don't disturb me. And I was in my room alone. And I was just leaving that room just to go and ease myself and go back to that room. I was not drinking. I was not eating for three days, two of us. I went into prayer. The first day was about just repentance. The second day was Jeremiah 33, verse 3. Ask God the things that is hidden in our life that we need God to reveal to us. First day, we finish. Second day, we finish. The third day, we finish. Silence. God was just silence about this issue to me. I was, I was happy. And sad at the same time, because how can we go into a fasting with all this sacrifice that we don't, we have done without hearing, no revelation, no vision, nothing from God. So I left my, my, my brother. It was like a few days before I come back to London. I left my brother's house. I went to my sister. My sister has two kids. And that's what, the reason why I did not go to a house to do fasting, because he have two kids that, you know, when those kids will see you, you start jumping on you like, eh, they see me as their grandma. So after I finished, I went there to my sister's house. I went to sleep there. I went to sleep there so that I can spend a few days with them before I come back to London. My, that day, that particular day, my sister, I wake up, I finish my devotion. We finish our 6 a.m. devotion. I went back to sleep. As I went back to sleep, I heard my, my sister preparing the children to go to school because it was school period. 
I had my sister preparing the children to go to school. Uh, the, the, she was selling the children. Don't, the children wanted to say goodbye to me. And she was telling the children, don't disturb her, she's sleeping. Don't disturb her, she's sleeping. So they, they left. In that silence, then I went back to sleep. When I went back to sleep, I now see myself in this my house. I see myself in this my house. I came and the father of my kids were here in my house. He was eating. Then I asked him, what are you doing in my house? Who gave you food to eat? I started saying, after all, in that dream, I was telling me, after all that you did to me, you still have got to come to my house, even eating my food. And he was not minding me. He was just eating, put his head down eating. As I was talking, my son, I, I, was, my, I was in this window, you know, then I came to this, I was reminding him. I said, do you know what you did? Do you know what? As I was pointing the point that really hurt me, that he did to me, that he brought pain in my life. I just saw strange things through my window. I just saw things going just like a lightning, no small light. It was just very well. Then immediately I hear people screaming. Then I, I asked, what is going on? I asked, what is going on? The father of my kid said, you just missed the rapture. You don't know. You were busy accusing me. You don't know that you leave the rapture. Hey, that moment, I forgot about the person that I was accusing. I know the word of God. The word of God came to me very freshly. That it, it reminds me what is going to happen after rapture. Then I knew that there is no amount for prayer I'm going to do that moment God will listen to me. And I was thinking of the consequences that I'm going to face. Every word of God that I ever preached to people, even they will preach to me. It came freshly to me. My brother, my sister, <laughs> you better listen. Listen now. Don't listen by experience. Because the experience I had in that dream, many people are going to face it because of carelessness. Because of what you think that is normal. Because what you think that is doesn't matter. That moment, the person that made me to be left behind, I forgot about him. I knew that even if I pray, the Holy Spirit is not there. Because you know that the Holy Spirit will live with the church. And that moment, the church left. The church has gone. The Holy Spirit has gone. The blood of Jesus finished his assignment. Now you are alone. You are your own. The sin that you cannot overcome now that you have the grace of the Holy Spirit and the blood of Jesus. What do you think will make you to overcome it when the Antichrist will come with all his wickedness? <laughs> the time is now. Your work has not been approved now that the Holy Spirit is there to help you. He is not yet be seen perfect in the eyes of God. Now that you can plead the blood of Jesus to cleanse you, it's not yet I've seen perfect in the eyes of God. When do you think you'll become perfect? The time is now. Because he's telling us that only those that you overcome sin in their life, only those that you overcome that bitterness. I did not know that I had bitterness until I got that revelation. And what I face in that revelation is not nothing that you can call sweet. I saw in that revelation, many believers of holiness were left behind. Why am I seeing believers of holiness? Because believers of holiness, they tie their hair, they don't wear makeup, they wear long skirts, they cover their hair. Those are the people that I saw. As I was running, looking for the place to read myself, other people were also, also running. Then Antichrist was already doing his assignment to arrest. I was waiting in one place where I see people being tortured. If I can see 1% of that torture, you don't want to face it. You don't want to face it. It was terrible. It was terrible. When I wake up in that dream, I thank God that it was a dream. Because I don't know if it was a real thing, how I would do. 
I saw a place as I was, it came to a place. I, I was so exhausted and hungry. And I saw this girl selling chicken. I stopped her. I said, please, can you send one piece of meat to me? Uh, I want chicken. Can you send it to me? He looked at me. Because he could not see the mark in my face. He looked at me. He said, show me your hands. I said, what for? He what for? He said, I'm not seeing the mark in your face. Let me see in your hands. Then I said, which mark? He said, this mark, six, six. I said, I don't have it. As I was saying, I don't have it. He was already calling those people, the police. That she doesn't have it. That's how I was running. I ran, I ran, I ran, I ran, I ran to hit myself because I know that he was already reporting me how come. Because if those that have it, he was reporting those that have not yet had it. I went to a place. As I was hidden in that place, I saw how they arrested so many Christians. And among them, I saw women covering their heads, long skirts, no makeup, no earring. They gathered somewhere. And they was removing the clothes on them. As I was looking, I, I think God allowed me to see that picture so that I know when you're explaining sin to people, we know what you are talking about. I saw this woman. There was, how do you call it? This thing, it was like, um, hey, in Mamijan, in French, we call it tono. I don't know how they call it in in. In English, it was a big one. You know, when the, this one that people put foil to sell, it was big one. It's like a big pot like this. The fire was burning, and this thing was burning, but yeah, burning. Like, like, like a gallon. Thank you. The big one, it was boiling with oil, not even water, oil. And you know how, when the oil is hot, how it can be. When you are frying fish and the hot oil jump on your skin, you know what I'm talking about. Now, the naked this woman, they took her clothes. They said, reject Christ and accept the mark. The woman refused. They now took her and they put her inside. Eh? She disappeared. By the time she came out with screaming, all oh, the skin was peeling. Hey, see me shivering. Knowing that this one will be my portion also. As this woman was screaming with pain, it made now the other people in the queue to accept the mark because they didn't want to face the same punishment. And we know that if you accept the mark, you are doomed forever. That's how I was screaming my heart because I know that no matter how the amount of scream that I scream, I was already condemned. That what I need to do, to do is to face it. Now, the fear of seeing that another person that is already fear facing it, how the person, and we know that the word of God will come so freshly in your conscience. It will come so freshly in your mind that the dead, you will be busy giving account to God also. Because God will ask dead to say, come and give me the account of people that you have killed in one week in one hour. Be, then you'll be so busy that when you call him, come and take me, he will tell you that I'm busy. He only be coming for two people in a year. Now we are talking about seven years of torment. The word of God that you are refusing today, he will come to you freshly in the way that you have now, for, you will not have opportunity to ask forgiveness because then who are you asking for forgiveness? Because Jesus is not there. He has taken the church. You see the answer that he gave to the foolish virgin. He said, I never knew you. Depart from me. The gate will be shut. The gate of grace will be shut. The gate of mercy will be shut. Then who are you be praying for? Who is he going to listen to you? Now it is time to pray. Now it's time to cry out. Now it's time to confess your sin. The word of God is true. He said, if you confess your sin, it's faithful to forgive you now that the gate, the, the, that the, the, the gate of grace has not yet shut. That is still sitting on the state of mercy. He said, if you confess now that he's still there to accept mercy, if you still confess your sin now, it's faithful to forgive all your sin, including the one that you think is a secret in your own hearts, but it's no secret to God. 
if you confess it, it's faithful, to forgive you now and to cleanse you from all the unrighteousness that can make your name to be brought out in the book of life. That's why the Bible is telling us the time is now. My brother, my sister, you've been hearing the word of God. You say, ah, 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 ah. We are talking about the word of God here. We are not talking about the word of any man. We are talking about the word that is going to judge you and I. And the time is now to judge ourselves. The Bible says if you judge ourselves, we have time to repent. If you judge ourselves, we will not be judged because we are going to repent. And when we repent, we have to be converted. That's why the Bible says in Acts 3, 19. He said, repent and be converted. Don't remain in that state of repentance every day. Every father, have mercy, I lie today. Tomorrow you see to lie again. And tomorrow again, father, have mercy, I lie again. No, 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 no. You have to be converted. You have to ask God to destroy that seed of iniquity in you that is making you to repeat the same thing often, every day. Because today you ask for forgiveness. Tomorrow you might not have time for forgiveness. Because you don't know. He said, you don't know the hour I will come to you. He said, remember therefore now that I, now thou has, remember therefore how thou has received and the head and the whole face and the repent. And the repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, if therefore thou should not pay attention, if therefore thou should not take heed, if that, therefore thou you should not mind your way. I will come unto thee as a fifth in the as a fifth, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come unto thee. Because you don't know the hour God will come upon thee. Because you thought that when God you give the go ahead to the spirit of death to come and take you for judgment. This is the time. This is the time to check. Be among the few that have not yet defiled their garment. Those that are keeping, those that are checking, every single minute I'm checking. You see this, uh, this uh, cloth that I'm wearing, this T-shirt that, uh, that I'm wearing, because it's not the material that I can just put in a, dry, in a wash machine. It's, a, it's something that goes to the, the dry cleaner. And the dry cleaner is not nothing that I can say is cheap. Because I don't have the money to be going to dry cleaner every day. Before, when I wear it, before I put my hand on the table, I make sure I clean the table very well so that, you know, maybe somebody has eaten something, it will not stain my t-shirt, it will not stain my shirt. Why do I have to be careful for the thing that will perish and be careless about my soul? If I can check where I will sit so that it will not spot my, my, my shirt, how much more my soul? How much more my soul? I have to be careful of the thing that can spot my garment of salvation. That is the precious one. So that on that day, I walk in white. Because he said, those that you overcome, they will be clothed with white and they walk with him. And this is the time to check the state of your garment. The, the day you give your life to Jesus, there were garment that was given to you. Are you still maintaining it the way you received it? Did you spot it already? Or is somewhere abandoned full of dust that you are waiting for the last minute? You are waiting for the last minute. And that last minute, you don't even know whether it's going to fit you, whether it will be clean enough. You know when you keep close somewhere and you don't check it. You know that one day I wear this thing. And you don't know every, every day you are putting weight of sin in you. By the time you go and try it, the hand cannot fit. <laughs> the neck is too tight that you cannot even, the bottom cannot close. Because you have put on some covetousness on you. You have put on some jealousy on you. You have put on some bitterness on you. You need to remove it, lose all those things. Then you'll be able to fit on that garment. <laughs> you'll, be fit on, you'll be able to fit on that garment. I know what you are say, I'm saying. Some of us will have that experience. The day I'll travel, I'll go there, this is how I'm going to wear. By the time you go there, the thing is changed. 
The thing changed, it's not fitting anymore. He said, hey, I thought he's going to do that. Yes, two hours is enough for you to put on ways. That's why I said, be watchful. Be watchful the things that you are eating. Be watchful the things that you are saying. Be watchful the place that you are going. Be watchful where you are sitting so that you not spot your garment of salvation. Work out your salvation with fear and trembling. This message, it was not just for the church of Sardis. It's for you and I. We are the church that Jesus is coming to rapture. We are the church that we need to make ourselves ready. We need to make ourselves ready. You see, um, it was a time, you know, some men in, Af in my country, when they will travel, because they don't know where they are coming, they are coming, when they will come to Europe, they, will, they want, they would like to leave their fiance. He said that yeah, I want to be my fiance so that when I'm going there, when I settle, I will come back, I will pick you, you know, I will marry you, I will come. Some of them would even go extra mile by marrying the girl, you know, they will leave them in their father's house, they will come to, to Europe to settle, and then they will send the ticket, some of them they will send the ticket, some of them they will come for themselves to take their wife. Many of them, they succeed, they get their wife with them. Some, some of them, because of the delay, the, the man is stay in Europe for four years because he doesn't have paper. He will be working hard, sending money, and the woman will be getting the money. He will be teaching the man with another boyfriend. You understand? Because the man is taking so long. I probably already married there. He's wasting my time. Hey, I'm a human being. Let me enjoy my life. You understand? Hey, my age is going so uh, since he went there. It was it's supposed to be for one year. Now it's five years. Hey, I need, I need to they'll be teaching. And the husband will come in the day that they were not expecting. Some of them they died. Why? Because the man will just show up like this, boom, and they're two months pregnant. When they will go and do abortion, that's how they will die. Some of them, they will meet them in the way that they cannot afford the, 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 the abortion anymore. That's how the man says, I cannot marry somebody that is pregnant with another man. That's why the man will be disappointed. He will go back to Europe and will end up now marrying another woman that was not in his plan because the one that he put his heart on, he disappointed them. Do you think this will be the case of our Lord Jesus? Do you think it will be the case of our Lord Jesus? He married you. He paid the bride price in that cross. I mean, the very specific bride price. He did not pay it with money. He did not pay it with good. He paid it with his own blood. Okay. What kind of specific bride price is that that not ever anybody in this world pay? Because we are so precious to him. He needed to pay with the payment of nobody in this world was able to pay. Now, he said, my wife, as I'm paid the bride price like this, I don't want Satan anything over your life. I've paid the bride price that he asked me to pay. Now, I put you this garment, keep it right, because when I'll take you to my father, this is how I want you to be present, he said, as a glorious church, without spot, without any wrinkle. Let us read it in the book of Ephesians 5 quickly before I round up. Ephesians 5, Ephesians 5, 26, that he might sanctify and cleanse and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. Seven, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. Now, he said, my wife, as I already paid the price, this is my blood, I cover you, I cleanse you from every filthiness, I make you not to be ready, wait for me. I'm going to prepare the place. I'm going to prepare the feast and I'll come to get you so that I can prepare you. After preparing the table, after preparing the angel will be prepared with trumpet, with everything, with a song that is going to welcome my precious wife. So that when I come to my father, I say, this is the wife that I went to pay the bride price for. This is the wife that I told you about. And the father say, okay, break her here. Now, what do you think your set will be? 
full of spots, or pregnancy will set up. Now, if you are pregnant with Satan, do you think Jesus will take you with him? No. He wants us to be blameless in every area of our life. So that on that day, when he said to Father, Father, you see, that 30, 33 years that I went to, you sent me to go into, I was busy preparing my wife. Look at how beautiful she is. My brother, my sister, be beautiful to Jesus. Don't miss it. This warning is coming for us to be ready. The coming of our Lord is ready. May the Lord bless you. May you be the doer of the word of God. May this message open your eyes to start thinking, seeing things in a different way. May the Lord bless you. Amen. Praise Master Jesus, hallelujah. We thank God for the word of God. We thank God for the sound, 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 sound gospel, sound doctrine. We just bless the name of the Lord. May the Lord bless you, woman of God. We thank God, <clears throat> we thank God for the anointing, anointing of God upon you. We thank God for the grace of God upon you. We really thank God for your life in Jesus' name. We thank God. We we had it all by the grace of God. May the Lord give all of us the grace to check ourselves, to check our garments, and the Almighty God is ready to cleanse us, to wash us with His precious blood. Let us honor our Father, and He will honor us in the name of God. May the Lord bless you, woman of God. We thank God for God. Right now, we are going to pray for ourselves. We are going to ask Father God, Father, as we have heard Your word, Father, give us the grace to put it in practice. Any area in your life you see that you are still struggling with. Father God that forgives a sin, he is still the same God that, that saves. He is the one that still says, tell him to Father, save me from this sin. Save me from this anger. Save me from uh, uh, jealousy. Save me from bitterness. Ask God as you ask God. Because you are now, we are the one that knows ourselves. More than anyone can see us. More than anyone knows us. We know ourselves, we know where we are struggling. Unless you are not truth about yourself, unless I'm not, um, I'm not true to myself. Let us ask God, he's ready to forgive you, Anna. Because he doesn't want to miss none of us. He said in, 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 in his word, the, book, the book of uh, uh, second, second Peter, that it's not his wish for we to perish, his wish we should come to repentance. That is his wish. Had it been, had it been Father God that he doesn't love us, he will not send his son to come and pay this, this higher price for you and I. Please let us check our garments. Let us check our spiritual garments. So on that day, we will not be left over. So on that day, the enemy will not punish. No, not just, you know, when the enemy, the enemy punishing, the, 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 the Antichrist will punish the, 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 the one that means the rapture. Oh my God. God will not let us be there. God will let us, all of us, to be righteous, to, to, to go with all the children, all the children of God for his own glory. May the Lord bless the woman of God. I really thank God for this message. You see, even in that in that situation, there is see there is see few that didn't defy themselves, that didn't defy their garments. Let us be so, let us be one of them. In that, in that church of Sardis, the few that didn't defy their, their, their garment, that didn't defy their self, let us be one of them. And God will reward you and I. May the Lord bless you for, for you and I putting it in practice. As you and I hear the word of God, you know, it will do you good, it will do me good when we put it in practice. Not just hearing it, not putting it in practice, it, will, it, it profit nothing. Father God wants his word to profit to us. Please let us put in prayer. We are going to ask Father God to help us. Father, we need your help. Almighty God, we need you. Help us. Help me, Lord. Look where I'm struggling. Please help me to overcome. Save me from this sin. Wash my spiritual garment for me. 
let us pray in Jesus' name. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Asians, Father, 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 and there's no other God it's like you. We thank you for this message, Lord. Oh, Lord, my Father, feel us afresh, oh, my God. Father, please, oh, my God. And you know where I'm struggling, oh, my God. Please, that he deliver me. Oh, Lord, you are my Savior. Save me from my sin, oh, Lord. Father, save me. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Oh, Lord, Father, save me from my sin. And I have heard your word, oh, Lord, please, oh, my God. And I might think, Lord, help me to put your word in practice. And Almighty God, don't let me play, play with you. Oh, Lord, Lord. Help me to be serious, Almighty God, to watch over my soul, to watch over my salvation. Please, that you may be the place that you may be. Give me the grace to live my life that will be the grace of God. Watch every sin, every wrinkle, every spot out of my spirit. Please, Lord, help me, Lord. Oh, Lord Jesus, I need your help, oh, Lord. Help me to abide in your word, oh, Lord. Help me to give your word, oh, Lord. Help me to honor you. Help me to please you in the name of Jesus. Save me. Right now we are going to pray for the woman of God. Whom God has used to be a blessing to us, let us pray for her. In Jesus, and let us pray for the woman of God. Oh, Heavenly Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of all the Asians, so the Father, we thank you for your son and your daughter's life. And I will thank you for using her to, to deliver this powerful message. And we are really grateful. We really thank you for her. And we thank you for her life. We thank you for her life. We thank you for your love upon her, Father. Oh, God, my Father, to use that to be a blessing to her. Father, bless her in return. And I want you to help us also wash her face. And I want you to let her miss her. Oh, my dear, in the name of Anything in the light that will make her to be the father in the name of Jesus. Lord God Almighty, please, Almighty God. Deliver her, O Lord, and will find the plan of the enemy over her life. Father, empower her, Father, and will not let her be in the name of Jesus. Seal her with the blood of Jesus. In the name 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 of Jesus. More grace, more grace, more grace in Jesus' name. Amen. So right now, time for our contribution. I will call upon the woman of God for the contribution for our continue. May the Lord bless you, Evangelist. Yeah, may the Lord bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is uh, kind of a weeping uh, message. And I understand why our Lord Jesus said he did not come for us to have peace, but to set, you know, a kind of mood, you know, it is not easy to hear this message and, and write on it the way, yeah, yo, no, 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 this one does not need that one because no matter how you find your own place, you find something that is, 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 is touching you, you find something that is correcting you directly. So it's not the kind of message of write on my, write on, mm -mm. it's the message to hear and think. Amen. We want to thank God for our life, ma'am. More grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are now going for our uh, contribution. Everything is as we follow all the commandments of God. No matter how you cleanse yourself from bitterness, no matter how you cleanse yourself from malice, from all the other things, you still need to fulfill uh, everything the Lord has said as he still his commandment. We go for the, our offering, for our tithe. He said we should take care of other things, but he said we shouldn't forget this particular one, that we should not forget it. He mean, it's still the word of God for us to go for, 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 for us to go for tithe, for us to go for uh, offering is to do the work of God. So we are now going to go for our offering and tithe. The tithe is the 10% of our income. The offering is as the Lord will lead us. As I will be singing this song, we are going to search our back and see what will glorify the name of the Lord with today. That, that thing the Lord has given us today to bring into his kingdom, to bring into his heart, so that there will be meat according to his word. We are going to bring it, we are going to bring it as I sing this song in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What a marvelous God, 
What a marvelous God. He has done marvelous things for us. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous. He's here to do wonderful things again. What a marvelous God. What a mighty Father. He has done marvelous things for us. What a marvelous God. What a faithful. He's here to do wonderful things again. What a mighty Father, what a glorious Jesus, he has done marvelous things for us. What a marvelous God, what a mighty, he's here to do marvelous things for us. The things our mother could not do, what our father could not do, those are the things he has done for us. He is the unchangeable God and the reliable God. He will do it again and again. Hallelujah. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous God. He has done marvelous things for us. What a marvelous God. What a marvelous. He's here to do marvelous things again. His name is King of Glory, he is Jehovah Jireh, he is the King, Redeemer and Savior. Yes, the unchangeable God and the reliable Father, he will do it again and again. Father, unto you, receive for the glory. Unto you, Father, be all the honor. Unto you, ancients of the, be all the glory and adoration forever. Mom. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lift up your tithe, lift up your offering so that we pray as we are praying. May God be glorified. Let there be the power of multiplication falling upon it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Father, my God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we present our offering before you. We present our tithe before you, Lord. We pray the King of glory and rock of ages. Lord God Almighty, that may you glorify yourself in it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bless our offering, O Lord, sanctify it. Multiply it, Lord God Almighty, as you will do the work of your hands, Father, Lord God. Remember your children, Lord, and also bless them in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember those that have nothing today to put in your basket. Father, bless, bless them abundantly so that our Lord, in the time to come, they will have something, Father, to put into your basket. We want to thank you, Lord, as we cover it with the precious blood of Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you, man, in Jesus' name. Amen. We thank God for God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So our weekly uh, announcement, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Amen. So on the mon Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays at uh, 1 p.m. London time, pray with us season. Please uh, join us if you have time. So Tuesdays and uh, Thursdays at uh, midnight, London time, midnight prayers. As Father God says in his word, we should not sleep like other, other, other people are sleeping. So the ch uh, godly children in Christ, Saturday at uh, 6 p.m. London time. Please bring your children. If you have children, bring them. Small children, bring them. To, let them come and learn the word of the Lord in, in Jesus. God will reward you. In Jesus' name, amen. Mondays, the Bible study twice in a month at 8 p.m. London time. Uh, virtual summit time twice a month, twice a month on the Mondays at 8 p.m. London time. Please, if you have time, just join us. Let us learn. We are learning by the grace of the Holy Spirit of God is our teacher. Our great, uh, he's our greater teacher. We thank God for the Holy Spirit. We clean a night a vigil every Fridays at 11 p.m. 11 p.m. London time. Uh, Sunday, our Sunday service at 4:30 p.m. London time. Uh, every for every fourth Sunday of each month, Holy Communion. As other God says in his word, we, as we, the children of God, Lord Jesus Christ told you and I, we should do it in remembrance of, of him by you and I taking communion. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. So every first week of the month, 
we have a fasting and a prayer to dedicate the, the month into God's hands. Please, the next month is coming next, uh, next week. Uh, next month, please join us in, for, for fasting for a fasting and a prayer for the month to dedicate the month of a, a prayer unto the hand of the Lord for God to take perfect control of our laws in the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you all. This is our, our weekly announcement. May the Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for the message today. Oh my God, we thank God for God. So right now I'm going to call upon the woman of God for the benediction. May the Lord bless you, man. Hallelujah. Let us pray. King of glory, shed of day, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, because you say in your word, for whom you love, you rebook. Father, thank you, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, for giving us, O oh Lord, Father, this this warning, O oh Lord, Father, to check ourselves and to correct the things that we need to correct in our life. Father, we thank you. We are so grateful, O oh Lord Jesus, Father. Thank you, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, for this wonderful opportunity, O oh Lord, Father, to even hear this message and to amend our ways in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your love, Father. We thank you, O oh Lord Jesus, because on our side, O oh Lord, Father, because you have another 24 hour, oh Lord, Father, to make it right before you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we also pray, oh Lord Jesus, Father, the same grace that you give us, oh Lord, Father, let it appear to our family members, oh Lord, Father, our children, our loved ones, oh Lord, Father, so that they, they will not perish, oh Lord Jesus, Father, they also obtain salvation as we are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh Lord. Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, Father, give us the grace, O oh Lord Jesus, Father, O oh Lord, Father, to overcome, to be among the people that you overcome, O oh Lord, Father, to walk with you in the white, in our family, O oh Lord, Father, to overcome, to walk with you in white, in the mighty name of Jesus, that that day, O oh Lord, Father, you will not come and meet us, O oh Lord, Father, in the wrong place, you will not come and meet us, O oh Lord, Father, in destruction, but you come and meet us, O oh Lord, Father, ready for you in the mighty name of Jesus, because of Nazareth, O oh Lord. Father, as you did to Apostle, O oh Father, give us the same grace, O oh Lord, Father, give us the same grace, O oh Lord, Father, to finish well, O oh Lord, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, because of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us share the grace and fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the Lord of the Holy Spirit, rest in our with us now and forevermore. Amen. Few seconds silence, please. Amen. God bless you all. And God, God bless you all. Bless you.